Hi Scorpio, welcome to your April reading and welcome to Bare Food Mama Intuitive Reading. Um, thanks for being here. I'm excited to dive into the energies of April. Um, a bunch of like new beginning feelings. So let's go. Happy Easter. If you are watching this on Easter, happy spring, whatever it is that you celebrate, however it is that you celebrate. Oh. If you want to enter to win a free reading, you can put free reading in the comments. Um, I'll pick the winner on the 24th of April. Well, there we go. Hmm. Um, so you may be experiencing like a feel a feeling of being like drowned out or like wan like trying to speak and maybe having some throat chakra stuff the lovers well that's lovely The Five of Wands reversed, the Empress reversed, and the Eight of Wands. What's the heart of the matter? The Four of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay. Hopes and fears for the situation. Shoot, okay. Temperance reverse, pentacles, eight of pentacles reverse, and the outcome. This is interesting. I don't know why, but lately in your readings, and in a lot of the readings I've been doing, there are a ton of reversals. Like, and it's just, it's not even, it doesn't usually happen. I, I, I shuffle my decks. I, you know, sometimes I'll go through them and even straighten all the cards and then like shuffle them again and clear them. And for some reason lately, there's just been all these reversals. So I have this feeling like there's something in your energy you don't know about. Um, whether it be someone with the lovers here and the empress. The Five of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords reversed um, in the tools you're working with and the outcome is like, it can mean that other people are saying things about you or trying to draw your energy away from you, like in distractions occurring. This could be like a, like an astral energy because it's like all, like almost all reversed. Um, to get you out of your empress like state there's things drawing on your energy to try and get you out of your your empress state the four of cups reversed with the ace of swords reversed is a it's about a lie that you tell yourself um to keep yourself emotionally you're you're telling yourself you're emotionally satisfied in a situation when you are very much not um, or somebody in your energy is, we'll clarify all of this. Um, but I think this is a love reading with the lovers here, or it's about how you've practiced love in the past, uh, with others and what you might be looking for in the future. Eight of Pentacles reverse, Four of Swords reverse, Temperance reverse. This is your hopes and fears in a situation. So if you're about to embark on a new, like, love connection, your hopes and your fears about that situation are that you will not feel like rested. Like you have, you might have um, a hard time maintaining your boundaries with the five of wands and the five of swords reversed. And with the eight of pentacles reverse here it's almost like you fear that a connection will mean more work for you than it's worth 
essentially. Like if a, if a connection is going to come in for you, it's got to be like, both something that allows you to feel rested, doesn't disturb your peace. Doesn't make you work too hard. And then also like, it's not so overwhelmingly, I'm hearing like lovey dovey that you, um, you get swept up in the honeymoon phase. And then like when you land, after the oxytocin wears off, you, you're not, like, in it anymore. There's, I don't know what this is. We're going to clarify all of this. But for somebody out there, you're being encouraged to really approach romantic love right now. Not, not as something, because all relationships take work. And it's good to be excited in a connection, right? It's good to feel that, like, spark of enjoyment. But you have 444 four, four here, and that talks about stability, foundations, um, balance, building, and they're all reversed. And so maybe something you don't see, maybe there's a connection coming in for you to show you something you don't see about yourself. It could be that you destabilize another person as well. Oh, let's see. Who's the lovers here in the past for Scorpio? This is your April reading. So these are energies you're working through in April. Strengths. Um, could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo. What is the Empress reverse with the Five of Wands reverse? The Empress upright? You might think you're not in the Empress energy. Like, you. wow, okay. This person... might be coming in to impress this upon you somehow like you're the empress and you might not really feel that way um if you're not dealing with another person something is happening happening um in a connection that is giving you strength and this strength, whatever it is that you're adopting, the strength of vulnerability, maybe it's somebody around you who's pregnant or a mother, maybe you're a mother. Um, there's something about this that's very quickly making, allowing you to understand how nurturing you are. And it's allowing you to very, very quickly see like the, outcome of this nurturing in the 3d i'm hearing because there's pentacles over here um you have four four and eight okay you might be seeing multiples of um two and four as synchronicities regarding this reading going forward what's the four of cups i want to know like what the a time frame for the eight of wands so you have eight 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 as well here. You might be seeing eight, 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 five. Okay, so maybe by May, um, you'll be seeing like the results of this. This is like a cycle that's been growing for you between March and ending in May. Something emotionally, for sure. Um, with the five of cups here, this is you, Scorpio, and it's talking about the five of cups is about putting your emotional energies into things you no longer want instead of picking up your two cups and going to the village behind this person, the castle behind this person where there's community and stuff. He is opting out of like current circumstances in order to dwell on the circumstances that he's leaving behind. And then of course the next card is the six of cups where um, we talk about like inner child healing and stuff um, and not getting too caught up in that like myriad um, nostalgia of the past. So what is the four of cups reverse here with the ace of cups reverse? The nine of wands, uh, the wounded warrior. I don't know why I felt like this uh, feeling like 
I think the the Scorpio collective that I've been talking to um, and communicating with have been through just so much healing in the last year. I just got this sense of like, no more healing, please, <laughs> please, please no more. Can I just move forward? Um, can I just go forward? Um, but I am feeling that your going forward here is about healing. You might be a healer. You might be accepting this about yourself. Or you might be needing a healer, needing a healer. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're trying to move on from something, but mentally, like, you might, yeah, you might need to talk to somebody. Or the sun reversed. What the heck? Or your mind keeps going back to this energy. Oh my gosh, the lovers. Okay. Let's see if the sun reversed another Leo um, card with the lovers. Here. The sun reverse is the same thing all around. It's happiness for all involved. I don't know. We're going to see. What are you working with? Walk in away. Eight of cups. The outcome. The emperor. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Reverse. All right. You may be walking away from a King of Pentacles in the future, an Earth sign. Um, or you might be walking away from, like, the potential for being this kind of person. Like, somebody who's super materially um, well-established and grounded, but, like, maybe is a little bit aloof in present circumstances like just really needs the finer things in life the nine of cups reversed with the moon reversed like you may have sacrificed a lot of joy in your life um for this nurturing mothering aspect of you whether you're male or female like you may have given a lot of yourself your happiness for your love connection so the lovers doesn't have to mean a romantic connection it can mean any and it's like you're not able to move to calmer waters right now or you feel like you're not able to move to calmer waters because there's something in the root of this behavior and I don't think it's I don't think it's codependency I feel like that would be almost too easy to say like oh yeah it's just code codependency like you can work on being independent because I don't feel like Scorpios are very like at least this collective that you're not very um comfortable with being dependent on others like hyper independence comes through if anything, with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Cups here, reverse, and you might be needing to open yourself up to be nurtured. Yeah. Four of Swords reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse, Temperance reverse. It's like there's something that about this energy for you that you just feel like it's wrong somehow nine of cups five of swords four of pentacles the moon it's like what you don't see is that there's a certain amount of like stingy mean like standing up for yourself like your words may come through as stingy sometimes but it's to, to protect your security your balance and it's not necessarily for this like emotional fulfillment it's it's like an it's like a 
this is so interesting. It's like a need. Like you're, because you're nurturing and strong in your vulnerability, it's like you've been so vulnerable that you've, you've like, it's like you didn't, it's like you didn't have walls at all. It's like you were in your scorpion form without an exoskeleton, like going through life just with the absolute faith because the universe told you to, that you weren't going to be trampled on or stung or hurt or whatever. And it's like, you did it, but now you're, you're like a little shell shocked. Um, and maybe he's still needing to look back over some things and like process them a little bit before, I don't know, this, this lover's connection is, is in your present circumstances though. What is this? The star? Okay. Wish fulfillment. That's awesome. After like hardship and difficulty, you might be. What is this lie? King of Cups. You might be like thinking about yourself like in a way that's not flattering emotionally. Like you might be kind of in this, thinking you're in this five of cups, four of cups energy. Like you're emotionally stagnant. You're dwelling on the past. But you're, and you're in your king of cups form where you might be dealing with a, another Scorpio, um, you've just been to the depths, um, and come back. This came up in the collective reading I did yesterday where the King of Cups just needs to take his time coming up from the depths so that, you know, he doesn't die of a, an embolism. Like you, you, like the actual chemistry of his blood needs to adjust to the ele elevation, the depth that he's at. Um, what is it? Too much nitrogen or something? So it's like, you're, you're just slowly, you can't move forward because you literally like you, you have to adjust or else you might like, I don't know. The consequences are, are, it's like, it's like your physical form or your emotional body, like cannot allow for you to move faster than you are currently because it's like not in our nature to do that. It's just physically or like emotionally impossible to do that. But it's not a bad thing. You're in your wounded warrior energy. I think you're telling yourself because you're in your wounded warrior energy or your wounded healer energy that you're not able to move on. But there's something about holding holding the um, pains of the past as you move forward to inform the wish fulfillment of your future. Like, you know what you don't want. And you also, I think, have a really good idea of what you do want. So what are you walking away from? The star and the lovers is beautiful energy. I feel like you have a lot of complex things going on, like, underneath because of what it's taken for you to get to this point, um, that you're still dealing with, but don't let that detract from the blessings that are in front of you. And I know that's a lot easier said than done. Um, but this is part of what the lessons that you've learned have been about, like being able to hold two opposing truths in your mind simultaneously. And it's not an easy thing to do. Um, it's not even necessarily like encouraged. And so I, I am really proud of this collective for having to, for having managed that. And I also think that being able to accept your blessings right now is a, it's a part of your new challenges, especially as this King, I'm feeling this King is just somebody he's just seen it. You know, he's just seen it all. He's like, he doesn't look very happy. Um, 
he <laughs> he actually looks kind of dazed, like kind of shell shocked. Um, you might have like um, you might have PTSD, or you might be dealing with some just heavy memory stuff um, regarding a lover or a connection where you had to have strength. What's this lover's wish fulfillment? The Knight of Swords Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, that's quite lovely. The Knight of Swords Reverse. Is somebody who says things to hurt you. If somebody did hurt you, that's being seen and they're having to pay you for it or like um, watch you new get a new beginning from spirit. A major blessing. Ace of Pentacles, the star of the lovers. And this person's stuck in Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords reversed even, like would not want to be that person. Um, all right. What's Temperance, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords reversed? Knight of Cups reversed. Um, hmm. Page of Swords. First, okay. So, if you were dealing with like a Knight of Swords, a first person, I have a feeling that this is the same as this King of Pentacles. They may have like cut you down, been verbally abusive, led you on, gaslit you, even. The Knight of Cups reverse is somebody who like offers you their emotional cup um, for their own gain. The Page of Swords, in this context anyways, that's what, how it's coming out. The Page of Swords reverse is somebody who is spying. They're not using their clear insight for the right reasons. They guard, whoever this is, they guard their heart and their feelings with, with insults, um, or even, I'm hearing they might, they may even just not talk. They might, um, stonewall you with this king of pentacles. He's just got his eyes closed and he's looking forward, right? Like they might just stonewall you and the eight of cups you're walking away you may have walked away during this eclipse season or something may have come to light during this eclipse season um temperance reverse eight of pentacles reverse and four of swords reverse is somebody who um their work like the reason they go to work the reason they do what they do is to like fill the emptiness in their soul like they work in order to avoid their pain and they may also like drink and do drugs in order to avoid their pain or whatever it is temper temperance reverse and then the four of swords reverse like they don't have a spiritual connection they don't have a place to like rest and recuperate they just are constantly like working to avoid looking within and they find that when they'd rather watch what you're doing rather than look within they may also with the eight of pentacles reverse they might not actually like working like they might they might not work i don't know I, but i have a feeling it's like they go to work in order to just keep up their sort of bad habits um nine of cups reverse somebody who drinks a lot four of pentacles reverse five of swords reverse 
it's just somebody who's selfish and like mean and unkind. Let the moon reversed and like they don't see it. They can't see it. It's all subconscious. Like you you might be realizing what you went through with a person from their perspective. Like you might be getting a glimpse into the eye into the like eyes of somebody who really hurt you and realize like they have no clue what they did because everything that they did they've been hiding from themselves. And I think you're realizing how painful it would be to hide from yourself. Might be an empress or a um, earth sign. Yeah, definitely this king of pentacles is coming through. But I also see that empress here, empress reverse here. Could be somebody who was like jealous of you trying to mimic your energy. But they kept looking at the material and the 3D instead of like the emotional. What's the moon? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see how this is the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. They're not looking at the emotional. They're looking at the material because they see you in the Nine of Pentacles. But what they don't understand is that this Nine of Pentacles comes from your emotional intelligence. Being able to understand, like, the the principles of love first i'm hearing the emperor why is the emperor here the magician oh my god i got really excited <laughs> you are um manifesting this person this is a person. This isn't this is the emperor to your empress energy. Regardless of whether you're male or female, you're manifesting this. And if you're not dealing with anybody else, you don't want to be dealing with anybody else. This reading is is got the lovers in it twice with wish fulfillment and then the emperor and the empress. So I can't like not say that that's what that is. There's something about you having come into your King of Cups, emotional intelligence energy, getting this Ace of Pentacles, the star, the lovers. This lovers can also be just you, like, not needing anybody, just feeling that sense of, like, I'm not dealing with anybody, I don't want to, I'm good, and then you're in this Nine of Pentacles. You don't even see this person. There's two people here. There's the person who's, like, hurt you, or maybe many who have hurt you in the past and then there's an emperor that you've manifested who's like showing up because you can provide for yourself you've got your hawk friend who you can send out to go get food or whatever he's your buddy and you've got your vineyard and you like to be outside <laughs> this is like this is like snow white when she's singing at the well in her rags and she's just singing with the birds and then prince charming shows up and scares the crap out of her because she's just not expecting him to be there singing a duet with her let alone like you know knowing the words or whatever i don't know why um but i don't know um, that scene's coming to mind now she runs inside and she hides behind the curtain and he's like he keeps singing to her and she's like oh Maybe he's not all bad. Like, he's still singing to me. Okay. Wow. Anything else for Scorpios um, for this April energy? The Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles reverse. No breadcrumbs for you, Scorpio. You get the whole kit and caboodle. I don't know, I'm feeling like giddy energy from this read, like just super energized. 
if you've been feeling really lackadaisical um, or just lethargic, whatever's going on for you this month, Scorpio, it's just bringing blessing after blessing after blessing, energy, 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 like, yeah, Empress, Eight of Wands, you're just like, Phew. there's something here. The key to this is in a love connection. And it it may be in looking at a love connection from the past. Um, again, seeing that what this person did, the one who like disappointed you or whatever, came from this like unconscious place where they didn't, they didn't even have the capacity to understand what they were doing. There's something, there's something about this that makes you realize your own, again, your own nurturing, your own compassion. I think your own capacity for feeling as well, for emotion, for your emotional intelligence. There's something that brings this to light for you and triggers this awakening. And you just move forward into all the blessings, just all of them. All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one here and I'll just draw an Oracle card for you because I almost like, and you might feel like this as these energies are unfolding for you. I almost feel like I don't even want to touch it because <laughs> it might not be real. I might mess it up. <laughs> like maybe you're making, um, a piece of art or something and you're just like, oh, it's perfect. I don't even want to touch it. Or I don't know, maybe you're making a recipe and you think about adding some new ingredient but you really are just overthinking it like you've you've figured out the place where you get to where your overthinking makes your creations less less than what they are like you're recognizing like this is it i can stop here this is my threshold for that and it's beautiful as it is um and you may also be looking at yourself this way like i don't have to I don't have to <laughs> keep doing the thing after thing after thing. Like, I'm beautiful as I am. Um, all right. Messages for Scorpios for this April reading. The Knight of Cups. Oh, that's really sweet. Here's your Knight of Cups. It's a swan. I'm thinking of that movie, The Swan Princess. The Knight of Cups is a charmer, and the person or situation who holds this energy has the power to create the perfect distraction when an emotional lift is needed. Magic seems to happen when you open your heart to the Knight of Cups, as the feeling of butterflies in your stomach and anticipation create a frequency that attracts romance and new connections. Love is in the air. Like all knights, the Knight of Cups is a complicated fellow. One minute he's passionately talking about something of interest, and the next minute he's alone brooding. This night's goal is to strike a balance of being free with your heart and open to new experiences without being irrational or temperamental. Yeah, that came up in the beginning of the read where you're like, you want to be open, but there's temperance reverse, the four or the eight of pentacles reverse and the four of swords reverse. Like you, you might feel like you, you might get carried away and choose to walk away. <laughs> but I feel like no matter where you're walking towards, like you're, it's abundance, it's manifestation. And this counterpart is coming like, regardless um then okay sorry you may find yourself becoming a bit more emotional or sensitive and as a result you will need to ask yourself how this energy is impacting your situation are you passionate or obsessive are you taking things seriously or being overly sensitive when the knight of cups appears in a reading you may want to consider if your situation may benefit from seeking out someone with a creative flair someone with the ability to charm a room one thing to keep in mind is that the Knight of Cups may be the lift you need at the moment. This energy is not stable, nor is it one that serves a successful foundation too often. If you are assisted by someone with the energy of the Knight of Cups, be grateful for their contribution, but know that you will need to finish the job in the end. Love begins within. The beautiful and almost angelic swan brings to the Knight of Cups grace and serenity. When called upon, it will help you temper any volatile situations that may result from emotions running amok. Use the swan's light energy when you need to neutralize a heated situation to restore peace or when you need to connect with someone who is emotionally closed off. 
love, grace, and bonding. Oh, that's really lovely. Um, I feel like whatever reservations you have about love and love connections this month, Scorpio, um, you're going to be able to work through them. You're going to be able to see them. You're going to be able to see like what happened. I feel like if you've been wondering like what happened in a connection, you're going to be able to see what happened and you're going to be able to move on peacefully or walk away peacefully. And if you are creating a new connection with someone this month, any of your fears, um, are being met with just more abundance. It's like the more you walk away from like anything that makes you feel less peace or less stable or um, a little bit more like radical, you know, and it, it, there's nothing wrong with like letting loose from time to time, but this is like you consciously choosing to walk away from anything that threatens your peace or your stability and finding finding it it's relatively easy for you to do so at this point and also finding a counterpart the universe is like on your side this month Scorpio all right if this reading resonated please like comment share subscribe let me know and I'll see you all um in a couple days happy Easter bye